guys, what is going on? It is Oxide to Snaps here with my GTA 5 online video. Now, like all videos, I'm sorry for your leg, or anything else disturbing you while you're watching this video. Now, you're probably wondering why there is a black screen. The reason there is a black screen is because shortly after this ends, there's going to be a video that comes up, which is the YouTube user Pure Redfish's video. Now, Pure Redfish is a very good friend of mine. He gave me full permission to use this video. That screenshot of him giving me that full permission will be down in the description below, including some of his social links and etc. He's a very good friend of mine, guys. And he gave me he gave me his, his full permission to use this video and I'm very grateful that grateful for that. So big shout out to him. Please go help him out. He's more huger channel than me, so I don't think you can help him out really, because he's growing on himself. But he, every every sub counts, you know. But besides that, let's jump right in the video, guys. Alright guys, what is going on? It is Ox at Stamp City, and I'm going to be showing you guys a, a, gl a glitch, a really cool glitch after patch on how to store a new vehicle uh, off the street into your garage for free. Now this does work with about any vehicle off the street except your friend's car and the Pegasus vehicles, but you, you never know, you can test that. But once you got the car guys that you want to duplicate or get inside your garage go ahead and get inside that car drive to your apartment and park it somewhere close make sure it's close to the entrance and have a friend stand uh, stand near because it can despawn and just to show you this is a legit as he drives up to his garage in this vehicle it will say he cannot store it because it is not his vehicle but uh yeah guys once you got it in the correct spot you want to put in like you're gonna have to mess around with this depending on what garage you got and uh just go ahead and park it, have your friends stand near so it doesn't despawn, and just wait for me real quick. Hold on. Alright, well, once you got on the right spot, go ahead and get out your vehicle, go inside your garage, and do keep in mind you're going to have to remove a vehicle from your garage that you do not like, so uh, find a vehicle you do not like, and that will uh, replace it with the vehicle you want. Um, you must have a job available, so call someone up for a job if you do not have one already, and just go ahead and run to that vehicle that you do not want. Have the job open and ready to start up, guys, and be by the door and wait for my instructions. Now, uh, as soon as your right foot goes inside that car, go ahead and click A on that mission, and then hold down the RT button, basically the floor it, and you should see a little flash, and after that flash, go ahead and press B and then A, and you should spawn something like this, like what he did. And uh, go ahead and run outside as fast as you can and get in your vehicle. Um, it's going to glitch out and you should spawn inside the garage and it's going to make you drive out again. If it is correctly, uh, it should have been like this or something similar. And this, this is not going to work all the time guys, do keep in mind. It's going to take you a couple tries and this is very tedious, tedious and hard. So uh, yeah. Now to get full coverage on this vehicle, the only thing you need to do is just go walk back inside your garage and uh, get any vehicle, it doesn't it doesn't matter at all guys, I'm saying right now, it doesn't matter at all, just go ahead and get inside that vehicle, uh, any vehicle, and just drive it out. Now what this process do is it will basically tell the Voltic, the car you just duped, that um, it is a full coverage vehicle. It's kind of weird how this kind of works, but I'll explain it in just a second. But yeah guys, once you drive out with that car, just go ahead and drive back in. And uh, yeah, now this is Pure Red Fish's video, guys. Again, want to say a big thank you to him. All the things about that will be down in the description below. So yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, once you drive that car back into your garage, um, you should see the Voltic or the car you got in there, and it should have full coverage on it. Now, as he runs up to it right there, you can perfectly see it is right there and has the full coverage on it. And uh. What you can do from here is go ahead and take in so LS Customs, go customize it, etc. It's basically like the bot version. It's a really, really cool method, guys, and I hope you enjoy it. This is an after patch, how to duplicate, basically slash, get any vehicle into your garage for free. I'm not the best commentator, but uh, it's best info, right? <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, once that has happened, go ahead and take it out of your garage and go to LS Customs, etc., whatever you want. But it's been Oxygen Snipers today. Thanks for watching, and uh, peace out.